Welcome to Tran's Guide on Echoes of Etheria's Diamond Cards. I'm going to keep this short because I don't really like a long intro for any sort of guide. The first part of this video will be a brief description about the cards themselves as well as what you can get for them. If you're showed up at this video and you're looking for a specific card, they will be listed in the description below with a timestamp that you can click on. The cards in the description will be listed in numerical order and not in the chronological order that you can find them in the game. However, that will probably not help the majority of viewers because every single card is missable. So it might be best to see how you can get them in chronological order. So if you're following along as you play, you'll be able to see which areas you should keep an eye out for those cards. This guide will be effectively spoiler free. I can't really be informative if I show absolutely no pictures, no footage, or not even the location name. So there will be those elements in there. You will not see any in-game text, but a particularly astute observer may try to piece together some possible details by observing the name of the location. But I find that the name will probably be the biggest factor in you finding the cards. So you don't end up like I did, which is missing one card by the end of the game. Now if you do miss a card, you can pick them up in the final dungeon. You might have to be playing the final dungeon in hard mode to find any missing cards, however. Certain chests during the final dungeon will contain the cards you miss. If you already own that card, you'll instead get some other item. Collecting all 13 cards and claiming the champion belt in the group arena challenge unlocks the secret arena challenge, as well as a free gift of fortune. The description for the gift of fortune accessory says that it doubles the gold amount and item drop rate from battles. That doesn't mean that you get double the items, however. But, but I assume that if an enemy were to have, say, a 10% chance to drop Ethereum, he now has a 20% chance to drop it. When you defeat the final secret challenge, you get the spark of creation augment. The Spark of Creation adds a 75% damage boost when augmented in your weapon. In your armor, it adds a base plus 50 to all stats and regeneration. This is also worth an achievement known as the Actual Arena Champion. The first one is at Fort Nikita Prison. As soon as you regain control of your character, you'll find a 7 of diamonds in the bottom right chest. The next one is when your team arrives on the beach. In the northeast area, you'll find the 9 of diamonds. In the El Saga Caverns, when you reach the communal area, if you go to the left instead of to the right where you're expected to go, you can find the Five of Diamonds. This is a little more complex to really piece together because one tree is nearly indistinguishable from another. But in the Imperial Convoy, you'll find an area that you can barely squeeze through in the trees to the north. Make your way that direction, and in the northwest section of that area, you'll find the Two of Diamonds. During the Battle of Inkyo Hill, near the Master Chest on the bottom left of the map is the King of Diamonds. Fort Alabarda has two cards in the area. When the location is specifically named Fort Alabarda, if you go south and climb down the ladder, you'll find the Jack of Diamonds. Once you get inside Fort Alabarda Keep, you'll find the seventh diamond card, which is the Six of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds can be found in Kesh's Estate. The Four of Diamonds can be found in Nova's Kada at the top left platform on the fourth floor. This next segment is not in my playthrough because I had to replay this segment in order to find the card I missed. The Ten of Diamonds is also the tenth card. While you're in a hostile area, you'll initiate a dialogue cutscene. Make your way to the lower area and you'll find a dirt floor. I thought it was a wall when I was down there so I never really thought much of it. In the Varna Grand Plaza, on the eastern platform, you can find the Eight of Diamonds. In the Sayonara Royal Palace, east of the throne, you can pick up the Queen of Diamonds. During the Viridian Siege of Ezrum, just west of the Commander, you can collect the Ace of Diamonds. To get this, you need to either lower all four switches, or defeat two officers to break their barrier crystals. Either one will work. At the time of this recording, there's no information online on the diamond cards, and in my playthrough, I missed one of the cards. You should try to go for all 13 cards, it's not really far out of your way. Although the video itself will be probably my shortest video to date on this channel. I hope you don't think it was just me phoning it in. It took quite a bit of studious note taking to find all the cards, I had to piece together all my footage. I don't think I need to offer filler footage just to pad the length. If someone came to this video, they are probably looking for information on diamond cards, and that's what you get. Thank you very much for watching my guide on Echoes of Etheria. I'll see you in the next series.